ಕಣ್ಣೇ ಕಣ್ಮಣಿಯೇ ನೀವು ರಂಗಾಯೋ ಎಂಡ ನಾಳು ಚುಟ್ಟಾಗಿ ಅವೆಂಡ ನಾಳು ಚುಟ್ಟಾಗಿ ಅಂಗನೆ ಅವನೆ ತೊಟ್ಟಿಲಿಟ್ಟು ಪಾಟು ಪಾಡಿ ಉರಕು ಆಯ್ತು ಸಿ ಕೆ ತಂಗಪನ್ ನಾಯಕ್ ರೀಸೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ಮಾರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಸ್ 90th ಬರ್ತಡೇ ರಿಟೈನ್ಸ್ ಅ ಶಾರ್ಪ್ ಮೆಮೊರಿ ಫಿಲ್ಡ್ ವಿತ್ ಫಾಂಡ್ ರಿಕಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಹಿಸ್ ನೆಫ್ಯೂಸ್ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ಹುಡ್ ಟುಡೇ ಹಿಸ್ ನೆಫ್ಯೂ ಎಸ್ ಸೋಮನಾಥ್ stands as the most influential figure in the Indian space domain leading the nation's most ambitious space missions this is the remarkable life journey of S Somanad chairman of ISRO and the week's man of the year we have achieved soft landing on the moon india is on the moon Nair, an astrologer, resides with his family in Arur, Kerala. Somanath's mother, Tankama, was his only sister. And it was in his maternal home that the scientist spent much of his childhood. Born on February 16, 1963, Somanath is the eldest of three children born to Vishridhara Panikar and Tangama. Panikar was a Hindi teacher, but... He had strong interest in science and astronomy. He instilled the same in his children at an early age. Orang yang lama muda tengah kerja kerja je, betul ke? Jadi ni kita ni orang kan di sini. Ini adalah orang macam tu, ini adalah orang kampi macam tu. Ini adalah ni ni galaksi. Ini bumi ni adalah dua orang. So ni kita dua orang kerja. Apparently, Somnath's interest went beyond simple identification of stars and constellations. More than that identification skill, it was more of an interest to look at sky, see stars, how they form uh, such uh, constellations and how it changes with the time. No? They, they don't remain the static. Though the constellation is there, its size changes with time. Uh, the great rishis, how they, they become very big at some time, they become very small at some time. So all this creates some sort of an interest and the periodicity which they come again and again. so all these are new uh, exposures to me that curiosity and fascination for science from a young age drove him to become a space scientist but the journey was not easy due to his family's financial condition when i joined engineering my father retired he was a school teacher and his pension was very small his pension he used to tell me his pension was 185 rupees per month so that was only income we had so you can understand that uh, running a family that he had his sister also to be supported which was again uh, uh, they were not having her husband and they depended on little bit on him and uh, he had no other financial resources so my expenditure per month also will be more than his, his pension so but fortunately i had a scholarship national merit scholarship so every month uh, he will not he will not be in a position to send me money to bank the money that he used to spend is 150 rupees per month huh? so in that i had to make the fees books buying food travel it was difficult so it was extremely difficult <laughs> I, i don't i can't explain in words how it was difficult because every day i had to write on notebook how much money is remaining how much is today's expense like that uh, you have to count the paisa remaining to remain for the last that month however determination and perseverance helped him get admitted to ISRO in 1985 in the 80s the development activities on the polar satellite launch vehicle was at the peak so there was a ban, though there was a ban on recruitment uh, government has cleared a certain number of posts of scientists and engineers and other staff for PSLV at the middle of the 80s uh, somanad was one of the candidates selected in that process in isro somanath first went to report to madhavan nair who was then the associate project director of pslv project i was uh, really impressed by his uh, keenness to learn and the inquisitiveness and also the initiative to apply the knowledge for practical solutions in fact that is what attracted and uh, we have assigned him a task in the uh, integration of uh, rocket systems uh, under the project in fact there is a very multidisciplinary activity and one has to not only know the mechanical engineering but should know the propulsion rockets electronics and so many other things so 
perhaps uh, that is what has uh, given him a strong foundation in rocketry at that time itself. Uh, so, in fact, uh, uh, even uh, recently you must have heard uh, Somana saying that the 10 years he was so busy that he uh, forgot to get married. Somanath married Valsala, now an officer in the Central GST Department in March 1994. Yeah, it was a traditional and arranged one. Nine years uh, I was in PSL project and we were, as a bachelor, we never worried about the marriage or uh, uh, getting settled. So we were only interested to see the rocket launch. So the first launch happened, PSLA D1 in 1993, then 94, the D2 was getting ready. So by the time I decided to marry because the first launch was over. So then I was looking for some alliances. Uh, so it was, we were looking for, so some somewhere my neighbor, my native place it came uh, that uh, she is from a similar background, parents, school teachers, similar upbringing. So that attracted me. The couple has two children, Malika and Mathuf. Malika is pursuing a PhD in Electronics and Communication at the Indian Institute of Science, Bengaluru. And Mathuf is pursuing an MBA at the School of Business Management, Nasi Monji Institute of Management Studies. No, it is true that uh, in my post-married uh, life, children born, Bringing up the family is very tough because especially we, we I traveled uh, quite a lot, not at home. And many a days I come home very late and bring a lot of work home. Uh, writing documents, writing uh, drawings or design or whatever it is. It, it all comes from late nights we spent. So the time spent with children was, uh, was really less. And my wife is also employed, but uh, she was able to manage that part much better. She was take, taking care of the kids. So at a very young age, they were put in daycare. My wife only and can come early uh, home and then take care of the children. Otherwise, they will be sitting alone. So many a times, my children used to complain that uh, okay, they were they were not seeing parents because they it's little grown up. They were able to open the house, get in and stay and manage the five six hours before we arrive at home. Okay, so we tell don't open the door. You'll stay inside. <laughs> so there were a lot of early struggles. So. Once that is over, it looks very simple. No, but that time it was it was her her uh, you know, taking care. I can only say credit to my wife that she took care of that part uh, because I was uh, not attending to much of my family things or now even personal things. I must tell you, even I like uh, make building a house for ourselves. No, none of these things I was even attending to. No, so uh, she took care of most of that. Malika and Madhav were however happy with whatever time they got with their father. When we were too young, I think, to actually like miss him. Like we had other like fun things to do. We were like enjoying our own like childhood. I didn't feel anything like I was bereft of anything personally. He was always there when I wanted to talk to him. Like anything tech, like school work, I had a question or like this question I didn't know how to solve. Some max or physics or because I know that's his field. So I usually go for that. So it was, he was always there for that. Goes on trips, family vacations, and that was not there. So he didn't have time. My both my parents were working. That when I was a teenager, I felt that a bit more. When he went for his PhD, that that during that time, I don't know, like I felt, oh, he's not here because he was not physically not there every day. Just like his family, Somanath's colleagues say that he was always there when they needed him. VSC Director S. Unikrishnan Nayak told the week that the ISRO chairman does not consider any of his responsibilities as a burden. Somnath is ready to take any amount of load and is available for us anytime. Interestingly, not just his subordinates, but school and college friends too say that Somnath tries to be available on WhatsApp even amid his busy schedule. The success of Chandrayaan-3 has greatly increased ISRO's confidence. And the organization has a slew of ambitious projects ahead, including the first human space mission Gaganyaan, building a space station by 2035, a manned moon mission by 2040, a Venus orbiter mission, and a Mars lander mission. Complex technologies always have problems and the scientists also have their own egos to marry their egos and put them together and finally make it a success is a phenomenal job. Very few could do that. ISRO has set an example that we can. 
and uh, somnath is in that uh, hierarchy and uh, i'm extremely happy that uh, whatever he has learned through pslv and the gsle mark 3 and then managing the centers like uh, lpsc and vikram sarave space center has helped him to provide that kind of uh, leadership which is needed by the country today a fan of malayalam poetry cinema and classical music somnath is also proficient in hora shastra the branch of astrology which deals with predicting the future however he believes that predictions about the future are unnecessary what is the use in predicting your future i don't understand the future is created by you so i don't think that there is any need to create any predictive future so i i don't find utility of it so though i know the process i am not a no, follower of it somnath's confidence to create a bright future for his organization and the country will be one of the driving forces propelling India's great ambitions in this decade and the ones to come.